best story. This will probably be the longest one. <laughs> Uh, oh, best boy. story we have battle t- i'm just going to strike that no one else has played it it's more of a <laughs> it is a fun 90s cartoon ride that's all i'll say um final fantasy 7 remake gears tactics ghost of tsushima hades kingdom hearts melody of memory ori persona 5 royal spider-man miles morales tell me why last of us part 2 shadowlands which i don't think you've beaten yet have you sarah i did okay never mind uh yakuza and bug snacks um i think just because we have a bunch of other categories so i want to get through all of them today i we might i i do want to talk to sarah about yes. a certain one that we need that we should we should both address melody of memory. so melody of memory is again it's a it's a music game and there's like 15 minutes of actual I, new uh, new content so watch the cutscenes at the end yeah, so that's honestly why I would argue to keep that up there because what the game does reveal is like the shit that people wanted Nomura to re- reveal in the Remind DLC. We also got a full game of Kyrie, and also the game has an overarching story. It is Kyrie okay. going through her own memories trying to find out where Sora is. That's true. Okay. <laughs> all right all right all right i'll keep it up there i'll keep it up there all right i just wanted to no i'm not i'm not against it i just wanted no, to see no, your I opinion no i totally understand like <laughs> like i totally oh. understand i just think the reveals that melody gives is extremely important to the series mm-hmm. even if I, it's like in 15 20 minutes worth of cutscenes. i think just for <laughs> my two cents for that as cool as those reveals are <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't think the storytelling and the way that they're pushed out are spectacular whatsoever. Oh, I, th- I think you're it's not, I think it's horribly. I think it's horribly sloppy. I'm a we will Kingdom we will Hearts fan, and I agree. <laughs> we will settle for crumbs. <laughs> I mean, um, we will I'm just going to go and that's all we're getting for the next two years. Leave us alone. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and say the game I'm voting for is Last of Us Part Two. Uh, I'm I'm torn between Shadowlands or Bug Snacks. Uh, tell me why is definitely on tell the me, top list. Tell me, tell me, yep, tell me, uh, tell me why. Also, I just had a brain fart. Forgot that was on the list. Too many people did not play. I will, right I, I will tell you my top three right now. My my top three are Tell Me Why, Last of Us Part Two, and Spider Man Miles Morales. Uh, Nexus? Tell me why Shadowlands and Bug Snacks. Nexus, you want to go and go? Mm, I think I would put FF7 Remake at the top and then Miles Morales. And then... I'm not sure what I would put for third, to be honest. Damn. Oh, Last of Us Part 2 getting snubbed. But but being a remake, isn't it just the same story from the original? Yes. N- it, or, slight spoiler, uh... Oh wait, no! My sister-in-law remake. talked to me about this. I think I know where yeah. this is going. Okay, <laughs> it's a oh. remake, all right. It's remaking the entire universe. Yeah. Mm. Do you not fight God at the end of Persona Five? <laughs> <laughs> no, but True. you do fight a hot dude. For me, it's Miles and then Bug <gasps> Snacks. Hmm. All right, I'm going to take Persona Five off, and I'm going to take Gears Tactics, Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> Is anyone like, gonna? I'll take I, Ori off. I don't think anyone else has played it. I I will say, well, yeah. And honestly, as much as we want to keep Kingdom Hearts up there, yeah. I feel like there's it's not enough content to be <laughs> like up for best story of the year. Um, and then also, I I don't know. I haven't played it, but maybe Sarah will will fight for it. But Shadowlands, <laughs> D, it's DLC content. No, so, it's an expansion. It's, it's not. Expansion. It's an expansion. Yeah. Okay. The expansion okay. is completely and different. Yeah. Okay. They're not okay. dolls. They're action enough. figures. I don't know enough, so don't stab me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a 14 break. expansion this year, I would have that. For sure. okay. I haven't got into like the super <laughs> juicy stuff for Shadowlands yet, but it, it's basically oh, my same. It's my same complaint with um, Melody Memory. It's like it's the storytelling is so non-existent for long stretches of time where you're just doing like little side quests and giant zones. So the like storytelling to me is more than just, you know, like here are the plot points that eventually happen. And it's how cohesive is that experience? And I don't think Shadowlands is good on that front whatsoever. I mean, I personally think it is, but I've also been following wild lore since I first started playing. So 
I wish not to kill 15 spiders. You just think of it as a bunch of random quests. What I see is actual shit happening. Those those 15 spiders need to be killed. I need their silk, dude. Mm. That's for a side side quest. So leave those spiders alone. So I I personally think that Hades needs to stay on the list because um, it the, the the entire story is peppered throughout the entire game, you know, and even then some it carries on after you complete the game. To to an extent, I believe. Yeah. All right, I yeah. think we need to do a top three votes then. Um. Yeah, I mean this will be easier for us. I'm going to go Last of Us Part 2, um, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, and then Miles Morales. Uh, I'll go Tell Me Why, uh, Shadowlands, and Bugs. Oh, wait, excuse me. We're talking about Bugs next. Talking about, <laughs> talking about Bugs next. <laughs> next. <laughs> and if you guys just want to talking type your things in or whatever, I already um, got Sarah's. Everyone's talking about bug snaps. Yeah, I'll say, tell me why. Um, what did I say? The Last of Us Part Two. I believe so. And Miles Morales. Bug snacks and Hades are like a close fourth for me. Wait, so what did you put? You put uh, Hades first? No, I put Tell Me Why first. Okay. Um, Last of Us, Last of Us Part Two, and then Miles Morales Third. Play that game, huh? Uh, It's so good. Really gotta play Um, Tell Me Why. Miles, and then Bug Snacks, and if I have to pick a third, I'll pick Final Fantasy because of Nexus. Hell yeah! See, that's called friendship. That's called companionship. I say that's emotional manipulation. Uh, Yeah, I was about to say. Nexus, what's your, what's your list? I should go for the Final Fantasy VII Remake, and then Miles Morales, and then, I mean, from what I played of Bugsnax, I really liked. Uh, I liked it enough that I'm definitely going to go through and play through the whole thing. But I haven't beaten it. And, but all right. I, We're all talking about Bugsnax. Everything else on this. <laughs> all right, well, the two that are tied would then be Miles or Final Fantasy VII Remake. Let's flip a coin. I would I would say Final Fantasy Seven over Miles. I'd say I would say over Miles because there's so much more of it. I would yeah I would say Miles because it's also there's a more there's more originality there. I didn't play Miles, so I can't speak it's, it's about a, it. So I would just have to go tight, Final Fantasy. It's a tight little neat package. It's a tight, nice little package, though. <laughs> Are we talking about the game, or are we talking <laughs> put it, <laughs> put it like, But it's like, you say neat and Namora, that shit doesn't exist, but that's why we love him. Mm. Neat right. and Namora don't go together, well, man. While our boy Miles well, is uh, right. sweeping again. Um, yeah, Ooh. I think so. Exactly. Mesa, you need to play The Last of Us too, <laughs> buddy. I will get to it, alright? <laughs> it's alright. Hmm. Alright. 